And welcome back to Salt River Fields, where the Mesa Solar Sox currently lead the Salt River Raptors 7 to 5. Coming out on the mound is pitcher Akil Morris from the Atlanta Braves organization. Now, guys, interestingly enough, Akil was supposed to pitch in their opening night game on Tuesday night. However, believe it or not, all these lights went out at 10 o'clock. Now, because of the delay to wait for the lights to turn back on, the coaches had to burn him. So this is really going to be his first appearance. Man of the hour, Ryan McBroom. Like you said, guys, two for four with three RBI. First RBI out here in the Fall League. Got your team's first win today. Yeah, it's always nice to get that first one under your belt. Um, yeah, we were pressing a little bit the first two games, but, you know, we, were just, we just, you know, started relaxing, having a little bit of fun, and that, you know, that win finally came. So it's kind of a, a sigh of relief. Feels good. This club is still developing, finding that chemistry. What are you finding so far as far as the mentality of coming out to these games? We just, we honestly come out and try to have a good time. You know, every, we know everybody can play the game. There's, there's nobody that's, you know, holding us down. Um, there's a ton of talent on this team, so we just try to come out and have fun. The team chemistry is un unbelievable, too. So, you know, the main, the main factor here in this league is just to have a good time, and, you know, we did today, so. While you're having that good time, a big component of the Fall League is having that development mm -hmm. with your coaches, this new staff. You have a new pair of eyes on you. Really, what have they been looking at with you? Um... I mean, it's only been three days, so there's nothing really glaring that, that I've noticed. But, you know, I just try and come in and not impress people. But I, I, I like to play the game hard, and I like to show respect to this game because it's, you know, showing respect to me. So um, we just, like I said, we come in and have a good time. And, you know, everyone's pretty tight-knit, so it's pretty fun. You had a good time at the play today. Ryan, congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Back up to you guys. Very good stuff. Fun to watch him work. Let's go back down to Melanie Newman. Melanie? Thanks, guys. So we are on the other side now with the manager for the Salt River Rafters, Tony Diaz. Tony, you've had a very small amount of time to really figure out your roster and decide what it is you want to do. How did you set this lineup today? Uh, well, you know, everybody's got to play, and, and we, uh, we had a, a pretty good approach as far as developing relationship with these guys. So everyone is clear as far as what role they play in this team. And as long as we have clarity, I think, uh, you know, the players definitely are ready to play. Now, this is actually a home for you. As a member of the Rockies organization, this field is shared by Colorado and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Anything special for you to kind of be right back where you started? Oh, I love it. I mean, again, like you said, it's home for me. I mean, I feel very comfortable in this environment, and I just want to make sure that every single player feels the same way, comfortable, uh, value, and appreciate it, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll like our chances when everybody feels like that. With your chances, your club is sitting at 1-0-1. One, oh, and one. What did you tell them after you walked away with a tie on opening night? Well, uh, you know, we got to turn the page. We got to remain in the present. And then whatever happens, the next day happens. And, you know, we can't control what happened last night or, you know, the day before. Uh, we just got to worry about the right now, right here. And then, uh, you know, when we are able to do that as a team, I think, you know, our best version is going to show up. Well, right now they seem to be in pretty good control. We'll go ahead and let you get back to third base. Darren and Jonathan will take it back up top. Move down to the dugout where Melanie Newman is standing by. Melanie. Thank you, Darren. I am down here with Mesa's hitting coach, Paul Phillips. Now, Paul, you just watched these guys have a pretty commanding lead so far. You're still adjusting to what is a mixed roster for you. So how are you really going to approach the rest of this game and get these guys back into it? Well, all these guys are here for a reason, and so we just want to make sure that you know, they, they stay within kind of just the understanding of baseball. Hey, we had a long defensive inning. Let's try to see some pitches here, maybe give our pitcher a little breather here. But, you know, these guys are here because they're good enough to be here and to be selected from their organization. And, you know, hopefully they, uh, they have that good understanding. So it's actually been kind of fun just to sit and watch them actually play. You talk about what it means for them to be selected by the organization. You would happen to know what that feeling is as a former fall leaguer yourself. What's it like to return here as a coach? Oh, man, it's great. You know, just to be out here and be with all these kids that are selected from the organization. And, you know, this is uh, the organization's future right here. And, and it's fun to be a part of it. And it's fun to be selected to be out here and be with those guys. And it's, uh, it's nice to actually have some, some guys to where every organization thinks highly of. And, and to be around them and see them going through their daily routines, you, you can tell why they're good. The daily routine, the guys who know what they're out here doing. What's your bigger focus right now? Is it change per player? Is it more of a mentality, getting at bats? 
Well, I think more for those guys. It's just trying to get more reps in and, and seeing, you know, kind of the best of the best, you know, and this is what they're going to face. These guys are going to grow up with all of these players are facing right now, uh, and they're going to end up in the big leagues with these same players. And so the more reps they get uh, facing these guys, the, the better they're going to get at it. Hopefully they'll do just that again. Thank you, Paul.